Let me begin again. Dear Ma, I am writing to reach you, even if each word I put down is one word further from where you are. I am writing to go back to the time, at the rest stop in Virginia, when you stared, horror-struck, at the taxidermy buck hung over the soda machine by the restrooms, its antlers shadowing your face. In the car, you kept shaking your head. I don't understand why they would do that. Can't they see it's a corpse? A corpse should go away, not get stuck forever like that. I think now of that buck, how you stared into its black glass eyes and saw your reflection, your whole body warped in that lifeless mirror, how it was not the grotesque mounting of a decapitated animal that shook you, but that the taxidermy embodied a death that won't finish a death that keeps dying as we walk past it to relieve ourselves. I'm writing because they told me to never start a sentence with because. But I wasn't trying to make a sentence. I was trying to break free. Because freedom, I am told, is nothing but the distance between the hunter and its prey. Autumn. Somewhere over Michigan, a colony of monarch butterflies, numbering more than 15,000, are beginning their yearly migration south. In the span of two months, from September to November, they will move one wing beat at a time, from southern Canada and the United States to portions of central Mexico, where they will spend the winter. They perch among us, on window sills and chain link fences, clothes lines still blurred from the just hung weight of clothes the hood of a faded blue Chevy, their wings folding slowly as if being put away before snapping once into flight. 